Hello everybody! In this Python tutorial we're going to go over how to calculate the harmonic mean. The harmonic mean is the reciprocal of the average of the reciprocals. The harmonic mean tends, compared to the arithmetic mean, to mitigate the impact of large outliers and aggravate the impact of small ones. The harmonic mean is used in situations involving rates and ratios such as finance PE ratios, certain average speed calculations, and certain geometric calculations to name a few. Okay so the first thing we're going to do is import some extensions or modules and we're going to import scipy and fractions. In our first example, let's go over how to calculate a harmonic mean using the SciPy extension. Okay, so the first thing we did is we created our variable with the name HM SciPy. HM is short for harmonic mean. Then we access the SciPy extension, which we imported here. Then we use a dot to access the stats, dot access M stats, and then a dot to access the H mean harmonic mean function. Then inside the round brackets, we created a list with our values. And in this case, we just use the values of one, two, and four and this should give us the harmonic mean in decimal form. And this code here should give us the harmonic mean in fraction form. So to create the fraction form, we used our fractions module that we imported here. We use a dot to access fraction, and then inside the round brackets here, we put the decimal form, and then we use a dot to access the limit denominator here, and this just helps put the fraction in a more friendly looking form. Then finally here we use a print statement to display our answer. We use our curly brackets as placeholders for the answers. So in this set of curly brackets we will put our decimal answer. We use the round function to round that to four places. And in this set of curly brackets here we will put our fraction answer. So let's go ahead and select our code and run it. And you can see over here in the console we get our answers. So for the values of 1, 2, and 4, the harmonic mean using SciPy is 1.7143 or 12 sevenths. Now let's do another example and let's just change our values here. And let's put in 2.5, 3, and 10. Select our code again and run it. And you can see over here in the console we get an answer of 3.6 or 18 over 5. Okay, moving on. Just a quick note. I do believe that there is a new harmonic mean function available in Python 3.6 in the statistics module. Okay, so if you want to use that and try that out, you can do that. However, like I mentioned, I believe it's only available in 3.6 or newer. Okay, so next we're going to create a function that calculates the harmonic mean. Let's go ahead and type out the code and then we'll go over it. Okay, so now let's go over our harmonic mean function code. We used the def reserve word to define the function. We gave the function the name harmonic mean. Inside the round brackets, we put a star and numbers, which allows us to take any number of arguments we would like. Here we created an empty list. Then we use a for loop here to loop through the arguments that we will put in when we call the function. Then we append those numbers or arguments to our reciprocals list here as reciprocals. And to get the reciprocals, we just take one divided by those numbers. Then the next thing we want to do with this code here is get the average of those numbers or reciprocals. So we just use the sum function, we sum the reciprocals and divide by the count. And then finally here we want to get the reciprocal of the average. Okay, so if you remember from our original introduction, we said the harmonic mean is the reciprocal of the average of the reciprocals. Okay, so basically this code here is taking this definition and putting it into code. Okay, and then next here, we're just taking the decimal answer and putting it in fraction form, just like we did up here with the SciPy harmonic mean example. And then finally here, we return a string with the decimal answer and the fraction answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and select our function and run it. Then let's go over here to the console and let's 
call the function and put in our arguments. So let's go ahead and use the same numbers that we used for the SciPy examples and these answers should match. So let's go ahead and put in 1, 2, and 4 and when we use the SciPy harmonic mean for the numbers 1, 2, and 4 we got an answer of 1.7143 or 12 sevenths. So let's go ahead and use our function and see if we get the same thing. Okay, it looks like we get the same thing. We should be good to go. Let's call the function again, and this time let's put in 2.5, 3, and 10. And again, when we use the SciPy harmonic mean for the values 2.53 and 10, we got 3.6 or 18 over 5. And we get the same answers, 3.6 and 18 over 5. Okay, so that's all we have for this Python tutorial on the harmonic mean. We will be doing many more Python tutorials in the near future. Join us for those, and we'll see you next time.